In this episode, we're going to talk about light modifiers. Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode. My name is Manny and in this episode we're going to talk just about light modifiers. Now I'm not going to talk too much about all the technical details about this stuff. Please have a look in the description down below. We've provided you with all the links there so you can read up about the stuff. Then as well, also if you have any questions about this, post them down below in the comment box or hit me up again on Facebook at Retard Pro. Yeah, all right, so let's start right away with the first light modifier. As well, we're gonna run it again through like the back video, one to 10, and again, list all the links accordingly in the description. Cool, let's get started. So our first umbrella here is a Allen Crum umbrella, also a 102 centimeter, and as well, white inline, as you guys can see over here. So this is not a shoot-through umbrella, also black on the outside. And again, we have two of these. We use those to shoot little portraits with. Comes also with a little bag over here from Allen Crumb. Really nice and neat. Yeah, that's umbrella number one. Then over here we have umbrella number two, which is also from Fotix. Again, a 60 inch umbrella. Comes with a pouch over here. And this one is again silver inlining as well. I can roughly show it to you guys. It's a medium sized as well with black outside and we've got two of those that we use again for awesome rim lights and for most of our shoots. Then over here we have umbrella number three, again a Fotix umbrella, also comes with pouch again. This is a large umbrella, a 72 inch umbrella, also silver inlining again as you guys can see. I'm just roughly going to open it here for you guys. So this is a super huge umbrella that we use for a super nice fill on most of the shoots. Again umbrella number three. Then also our first softbox, again number four. This is a small medium softbox from Allen Crumb. Comes standard with the Allen Crumb strobe set, as well with the speed ring for Allen Crumbs, with a little pouch, four rods, and again the diffusing material. And we've got four of them and sometimes use it on our shoots in studio and outside. Then light modifier number five, again a strip light, also a pretty large strip light. Again, this comes with a bit of a grid system, which is really nice. Also over here, four rods again, diffusing material for inside and to cover for the outside. Then as well, a speed ring over here and also a pouch, which you guys can see again. We fit two of these soft boxes into this pouch. So again, we've got four of those, two bags. As well, just silver inlining here, just as a normal soft box again. Strip light and we use this for almost all our shoots. Then over here we have softbox number six, which is an Octobox, also pretty big actually. I'll provide all the details again in the links. Over here you guys can see it's silver inlining. And just let me close this, so it's super huge. Also again as a fill or front light here, key light sometimes. Again comes here with a diffusing material and as well a few rods. Also again the Allen Chrome mount for the speed ring and again for the softbox. Then as well over here, which is really nice, a big huge net actually, a grid system for the softbox and we sometimes try to catch our assistance with this. Then over here we also have again a beauty dish, a silver inline beauty dish. As you guys can see, this will be used almost 90% of our shoots as well here coming again with the speed ring for Allen Chrome mounts. So if you have something different, have a look at this. As well as silver inline, as said before, also extra here a grid just to narrow light again, which works really nicely. And as well coming here with a diffusing material just to pop on top of that. Yeah, then over here again, light modifier number eight. Again, two reflectors here. We also talked about this earlier in our strobe video. Again, with some extra grids. This is not coming standard in the Allen Chrome packet, but you can order it extra. Again, 21 or 20 centimeter grids over here with the reflector as well. Use this quite a lot with the Allen Chrome mount again. And a little smaller one around 16 centimeter and 17, this is a bit too big. So as you guys can see, we need to get smaller ones. Then light modifier number nine, again a snoot with a little grid, also again for the Allen Crown mounts, which we use again to shoot on backdrops and again to narrow light on some certain spots. So again, this is also like a little extra. Okay, so that's basically it for this week's episode, guys. If you wanna see some more Photoshop tutorials and light talks, click right here again on the left hand side. Then as well, if you wanna see some more stuff from gear review, strobes, retouching gear, etc click right here on the right hand side. As well here at the top, you guys can subscribe to this channel and be updated with more weekly videos. Then as well down here, you guys can find our link to our retardpro.com website. And as well, don't forget to hit me up with a thumbs up if you like this episode. Then as well, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. 
and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.